People's Democratic Party lost for ignoring G5 governor's warning, says Wiki. River State Governor Yusung Wiki blamed the People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, for the failure of the party to win the presidential election. It can be attributed to it because if Atiku had listened to G5's demand, they may not be convenient. Honestly, maybe we will not be seeing what we are seeing now. If they come together as one, if they come together and work as a team to go into the election, but like the general saying goes, a house divided against itself can never stand. They were divided, and at the end of the day, the vote that is supposed to come to the People's Democratic Party in bulk was split into three. And let me say even four, because the G5 is there. Kwankwaso went his way, Obi started his own movement, and Atiku was left alone. If you combine this with what happened at the presidential election, honestly, it would have been easier or very easy for PDP to carry the day. But they divided themselves, they used their own hand to scatter the house they built over the years. The governor believes the party's misfortune was a consequence of ignoring the warnings of the G5 governors who called for equity, justice, and fairness before the poll. Wiki insisted that it was too early to forget that the fate that befell the People's Democratic Party was avoidable if its leadership had aided many appeals and demand for equity. Wiki spoke at Okomoko Community Field while inaugurating the Chokoko Ugudu Road in Eche local government area in Portacot. The governor said it was fair that the presidency had returned to the south because the north was completing its eight years at the presidency. He said, our constitution says in section 73C that there shall be the retention of public offices of appointed and elected. You took the chairmanship of the party, you took the presidential candidate slot of the party, and we came to you saying this is against the spirit of our constitution. Give us back the chairmanship. You said no that you must have it all because you have won. Imagine, the position of the chairmanship of the party was what they requested for, and because of that, they lost the presidency. What a way of losing in an election. I said, be careful then, and nobody wants to remember all those things when we were shouting. We can say while others were demonstrating against the outcome of the presidential election, he was in rivers, inaugurating projects, and satisfying the developmental needs of the people. The governor said he never criticized either the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi or his all progressive Congress counterpart Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinumbu during the campaigns. Wika said he only chose to campaign all apologetically to true lovers of Nigeria to vote for a southern presidential candidate in the spirit of equity, fairness, and justice. He said, this is what we have argued for, that the North has had it for eight years, therefore the South should have it for eight years. So I'm not here to persecute anybody. As far as I'm concerned, anybody from the South is where I stand. That is what we agreed as integrity group that we must make sure that someone from the South emerges as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The governor insisted that he remain one of the apostles of power rotation on the principles of equity, fairness, and justice. He told the Eche people that he had no problem with anybody who voted for the Labour Party or the All Progressive Congress because the outcome of the presidential election gave Nigeria a southern president. He took a swipe 
that the governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress in River State, Tonye Ko, saying he lacked the character to steer the affair of the state, he said, look at the APC candidate. He posted on social media congratulating Ashua Jubala Ahmed Chinumbu, but within one hour, he pulled it down. Is that a man? Is that a character? Well, that is wicked coming out to tell the Nigerians why he supported the move from north to south, which will entrench rotation in our constitution and practice it live. As somebody from the north has ruled for eight years, there was not only against his party presidential candidate because he's from the north, he denied them the chairmanship of the party when they agreed, he didn't follow the agreement, or he didn't succumb to the agreement that they asked him for. Therefore, he's supporting somebody from the South South. Is it right in doing this as a party man? Should we now begin to talk of independent candidates in our polity since that some things may appear in future that may more no work for the parties? Because as a party man, you are expected to be loyal to your party and follow whatever decision the party has agreed on, not to come out to work against your party. This is called anti-party, but well, let's see what happens in days ahead. The PDP has gone to court. Wiki is still there talking about what he did, and the party, I'm sure maybe they are afraid of losing him as a member of the party. That is why they have not waged the big armor on him. Well, politics is give and take. The gubernatorial election will show really who is in charge of River State. If we can indeed a strong man, if his candidate will win, or another candidate will emerge and win at the end of the day. What is your take? Kindly make your opinion known as you subscribe to my channel. Thank you and be blessed.